What you mean you don't know Panda? She's dope. What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What is poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dope Ass Panda, and today, guys, I'm doing boneless knotless on my beautiful kid client. Now I know what you guys are thinking. What is boneless knotless, y'all? Boneless knotless is when the part is big and the braid is skinny, okay? It's giving boneless. Now on adults, we call this boneless, but typically when I'm doing larger knotless braids on my kid clients, I do boneless and not bone in. And the reason why is because it's a lot of hair on them. And specifically, her mom requested that her um, parts be a little bit bigger and her braids be a little bit thinner. Because the first time I did her hair, I did bone in braids and they were just a lot of hair for her. So. I actually love the way that boneless knotless look on kids if I'm putting beads on the end. If not, then typically I would add a little bit more braiding hair, but you guys will see that these braids are going to look super, super natural, like they're growing out of her scalp. She has beautiful, healthy hair on her head, and it is um, a little bit longer than the typical kids that I usually do, so her braids are um, going to be a little bit longer. I typically go an inch or two past my client's hair, especially if I'm doing beads because they're gonna be rubber banded. And in general, parents like to like cut where the beads are. So I just try to make sure I give them some room to cut those beads off. Um, and I'm really excited for you guys to see the way that this looks. Now, as far as products go, you guys know that I'm using the Dope Collection when it comes to the braiding hair. I don't have a kid's length. So basically what I do is I take a pack of my braiding hair, which is 54 inches, and I'm gonna cut off the tail of it and then restretch it. And that will give me hair that is a little bit shorter for my kids. Um, I also do this when I'm creating custom ombres, and I've showed that in one of my videos before. But if you guys would like to see how I cut and refeather the hair for kids, I will show you guys in a separate video. Just let me know in the comment section down below. I do eventually want to add to my braiding hairline and offer different size options um, but right now I'm kind of just doing the size that is most popular um, which is why I had the 54 inches so yeah you guys can see how natural these already look and we're gonna be going in and doing a side part so yeah I'm really excited for you guys to see the finished look because these turned out so bomb on her and I love 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 the way that they looked now, I know what y'all gonna be saying in the comment section, do more kids, I wanna see more kids styles. Y'all, I don't really do kids, okay? I don't really do too many kids. I have her and I have my goddaughter, Aria, that I usually style, but I really just don't have the patience to do kids, um, you know, just to have a, a build a kid's clientele. Um, but she literally sits so still, she does so good, so I love doing her hair. Aria, y'all already know, is a character, I saw her on live all the time, um, but, I'll try to convince her mom to let her get some different styles because I just don't know that I can take on a bunch of kid clients unless they are able to really sit and parents be lying about that. Like, oh my child sits all the time and then they child be acting a fool. So is this definitely something that I'm working on as far as patience, y'all know, or maybe my second baby will be a girl. I don't know. Ah, I'm not pregnant yet, y'all, but just, um, you know, speaking that into existence. But yeah, anyway, y'all, I'm not doing anything special in this video, so I'm gonna go, go ahead and let you guys watch me finish this style off, and I'll see you guys when I do the finishing touches. As I stated, anything that I'm using will be listed in the description section down below for you, so make sure you guys go ahead and check that out, and I will see y'all at the finished look. Boy, you too crazy. Roll the dice 
can just see how cute this is and I am gonna go ahead and put some beads on um today she was getting her hair done for her graduation and so she was gonna be wearing a pink and yellow dress and so for her beads we're gonna be doing some pink white and yellow I had to throw the white in there even though I didn't show it because um I didn't have enough of the pink and the yellow so yeah and then I'm gonna go in with the dope collection mousse and I'm gonna do her edges for my kid clients I've been trying to stay away from the edge control um just because on kids hair I feel like it just causes a lot of buildup their edges are typically really really fine so I feel like they don't need a product like that but my uh, mousse from my collection does a really good job just molding and keeping her edges in place and also don't do like anything too too fancy or ever leave out any extra baby hairs if a, if a parent requested it i would but for kids i just feel like yeah no like i know their parents definitely don't want to do edges every day so yeah i just did something subtle so here i am dipping it people always ask me um or they tell me like i've never seen anybody dip with the beads on i've been doing it for forever as long as you're using black rubber bands and not elastic bands the rubber bands won't pop and sometimes if i'm unsure i just put two rubber bands on there but make sure you're using the rubber and not the elastic and you can definitely dip it and um yeah the rubber bands won't pop i literally do it all the time i don't know why i like to do this but i just do do it this way um so, yeah. Lastly, I'm going to go in with my absolute favorite finishing spray. It's by Auntie Jackie and it's called Shine Boss. And I've been using this for the past couple months and I absolutely love the finish. Not only is the finish bomb, it gives you a nice um, high shine, but also it smells really good. So most of my clients are like, ooh, that smells really good. And I feel like, I don't know, it just sets the style off for me. So I need to actually get some more because I ran out of it after this video and I was literally so sad. It's like my favorite stuff. But this is the finished look, guys. I can't wait for you guys to see ya. I'm just like trying to position her head. You know, you move kids head one way and then they move back the other. But oh my God, she's so cute. It looks so bomb. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you guys like your braids boneless or you like it bone in? And do you like it off flats or you like drunk? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, no, I played so much. This is um, the finished look, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Again, for my kids, this is my large size. And I ended up taking um, the cape off of her and she literally had on the cutest outfit ever. I didn't even peep it. And she looked so bomb. So I was like, hold on, let me bring the camera back. Let me bring the camera back because you look so cute. Um, so I went ahead and took the drape off and then I did record again. So yeah, as always, guys, thank you so much for tuning into my videos. I hope you guys are still learning and finding them very helpful. Um, I'm going to try to be more consistent with my posting so yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below if you haven't already hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell and i will catch you guys in my next video what you mean you don't know panna she's dope <laughs> what you mean 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 what you mean, what you mean? What you mean?